So, I'm a little late to the party, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. So, today, I finally came across the crossover <coughs> of two of, I guess, my favorite franchises ever. Uh, Disney's Phineas and Ferb, and, of course, Star Wars. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Phineas and Ferb, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin. Anyway. Go to the Disney Channel or anywhere else that has Disney cartoons and watch Phineas and Ferb. It is a phenomenal show, <coughs> excuse me, both for kids and adults with um, uh, impeccable writing, impeccable wit. Uh, the lyrics and the songs are very good. I mean, I don't know why this show ever ended other than the creators, I guess, were just tired of working that hard to be that funny anyway it's a, it's an incredible show so i guess somewhere in 2014 they decided since disney owned star wars to do a crossover instead of in doing a parody they wanted the Phineas and ferb story to intertwine with episode four a new hope so this episode is about an hour long and it's true to form a Phineas and ferb episode um in in its formula but what makes this even cooler is that this episode puts uh all of the main characters into like a rosencrantz and gildenstern type of uh situation where they're going along the story but they're kind of like off to the side so if you were to watch the original movie while the events in the original movie are going on these guys are doing things at the same time somewhere else, so you wouldn't see them on screen. So, for example, they would show up to the Moss Isley Cantina Bar just after, <coughs> you know, Han shoots Greedo. That's not a spoiler. That happened 40 years ago. And Han shot first. Anyway. But, I mean, even the episode kind of mentions it, too, so it's kind of funny. But anyway, they <coughs> they show up. You know, and they're like, hey, I need a pilot. Well, Holland had already left, so they need to find another pilot. And then, you know, it's just a bunch of things like that. They get to the Death Star. Um, interesting thing, you never see a single scene with Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I don't know if there was an issue with rights there or not. But <clears throat> in the end, it was a very fun and entertaining episode. It's about an hour long, so you're not going to sit there forever more uh, for a full episode of Star Wars. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's two or three songs in there. They're very good, very well written, uh, and it's a very fun show. So I just wanted to put my two cents out there and say, hey, go see this. If you're a Star Wars fan, watch this. I know there was a parody by Family Guy. I've only seen a couple episodes. I'm not a huge fan of Family Guy, but I did enjoy the parody of that. But if you're a fan of Star Wars, go see this. If you're a fan of Phineas and Ferb, go see this. And like I said, if you haven't heard of Phineas and Ferb, go watch Phineas and Ferb and then watch this. Or watch this and then watch Phineas and Ferb. I, I firmly believe if you watch this, you will become a fan of Phineas and Ferb and you'll watch those episodes. I, in fact, I'm saying it now. Let's do a, uh, <coughs> a, a change.org or put out a petition to bring Phineas and Ferb back. Who's with me? Anyway, post it in the comments below if you actually saw this and what did you think about it. If you enjoyed it or if you didn't like it. And, you know, if, if you didn't like it, tell me why. That's okay. I enjoy having the discussion. So anyway, if you like this quick review of Phineas and Ferb and Star Wars, hit that like button. In fact, if you'd like to see more of Phineas and Ferb, doing Star Wars, let me know. I would like them to see them do Empire Strikes Back. Maybe they already have, and I just haven't seen it yet. I know they've done a crossover with Marvel, and I haven't watched that yet, but once I do, I'll post a review of that. Anyway, <clears throat> there's plenty more movies for them to do. They can do the episodes 1, 2, and 3, 5, and 6, and even mess around with 7 and 8 and Rogue One and maybe even Solo. There's plenty more out there to do. <coughs> Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. If you like my reviews on TVs, movies, video games, if you like my live streams, hit that subscribe button. You can also hit that notification button. 
And I'll talk to you guys again next time. Anyway, peace out.